We're going to use this worksheet to practice reacting amines with a strong acid, hydrochloric acid specifically. And many of these molecules have multiple nitrogen atoms in them. Not all of them, but most of them. And so for those molecules that have multiple nitrogens, we're just going to pick one of the nitrogens to react with the HCl. We, as a class, don't know anything about which nitrogen is going to react with the HCl. So we, as Chem 131, are just going to take a guess. There's no right or wrong one to choose. Because as much as I would love all of you guys to become chemists, I know that that's not your destiny. So let's start with diazepam, Valium, and let's choose this nitrogen right here to react with the HCl. And so what we're going to do is just put a hydrogen on the nitrogen as well as a positive charge. And then remember the other thing that's produced in this reaction is the chlorine, the chloride ion that has a negative charge. And there's no specific place that you should draw that Cl minus, just draw it anywhere you wanna draw it, somewhere in the area around the nitrogen with the positive charge. So let's go to lidocaine and let's pick this nitrogen right here to react with HCl. All that we're gonna do is just add a hydrogen to it. And don't forget the positive charge on the nitrogen. And then you're just gonna stick a chlorine somewhere around in the area. Let's see what's going on with Xanax. Let's choose, which one should we choose? Let's choose this one right here to react with HCl. So we're just gonna put a hydrogen on it. Do not ever forget the positive charge. Put a chlorine somewhere around the molecule, you're good to go. Cocaine, that only has one nitrogen, so we don't have to choose. We're gonna give it a hydrogen and a Cl minus. And remember that what we just drew right there, cocaine HCl, that is the kind that you snort. That's when you buy it on the street. That's what's just called regular old cocaine. So let's look at Ativan and let's do, let's do this one right here on Ativan. We're going to add a hydrogen, add a positive charge and a Cl minus somewhere. And clonazepam, let's choose this nitrogen right here. Give it a hydrogen, give it a positive charge put a chlorine somewhere around it. We've got three more to go. Oxycontin has only one nitrogen, so we don't have to choose where to put it. Morphine, same, give that nitrogen one a hydrogen, give it a positive charge. There's a Cl minus there. And then for Novocaine, let's use this nitrogen out here, the NH2. We're gonna give it a third hydrogen, a positive charge, and a Cl minus.